Hi everyone, we meet again in this new episode of Mobile Legends Hero Spotlight. In this episode, we will introduce Aldo, the contractor, who swore to protect the ancient maze of Minos. As the leader of the Minoan Guard, Aldo swore to protect the maze of Minos for his entire life. Unfortunately, the god sought fit to punish him by changing his bodily form, giving him a grotesquely large arm that struck fear in the people around him. What's scarier is that his arm can gain seemingly infinite power through the souls trapped within it. Needless to say, Aldo is a formidable foe on the battlefield. Overall, Aldo is capable of attacking nearly any enemy on the map, and he has the ability to endlessly strengthen his attack damage by killing his foes. In short, Aldo is a warrior who possesses strong burst DPS. For his first skill, Aldo activates his arm's latent energy to strengthen his next basic attack. If that attack kills an enemy unit, then Aldo's basic attack damage will permanently increase. What makes this skill even stronger is that enhanced basic attacks will deal bonus damage against minions, making Aldo a good choice for laning. In fact, this skill is Aldo's primary DPS skill. We recommend everyone to solo a lane in order to accumulate as much damage enhancements as possible thus allowing Aldo to become a deadly foe in mid to late game. For his second skill, Aldo activates a defensive barrier that makes him immune to all basic attacks and reduces damage from other attack types. When reactivating the skill within one second of activation or when the skill duration ends, Aldo will stun and damage nearby enemy units. Use this skill before charging into a skirmish and Aldo will most likely survive long enough to use his first skill twice. If the battle feels too heated, Taking advantage of this skill's stun effect can be very useful in promoting Aldo's survivability. For his ultimate, Aldo can temporarily gain the field of vision of any one of the enemy heroes. During this time, reactivating his ultimate allows Aldo to lock onto one of the enemy heroes for a strike that damages and knocks back the enemy hero. However, canceling the strike while Aldo is attacking results in additional cooldown time. Use this skill and Aldo can attack any enemy hero on the map, which is indeed very powerful. However, do not use the skill blindly. For example, it would be better to cancel Aldo's ultimate if he's attacking an enemy surrounded by allies. We strongly, and I mean strongly, urge everyone not to feed. As for Aldo's passive, after every three attacks, the next attack's damage will generate a shield that absorbs damage, lasting three seconds each time. Now here's something amazing. The basic attacks enhanced by Aldo's first skill will also activate his passive. What this means is, Aldo can generate a very powerful shield due to the synergy between his passive and his first skill. In terms of the equipment builds, we recommend the following sets. We highly recommend using the first set, especially if Aldo is charging into skirmishes or holding a lane alone against many other heroes. The equipment item Endless Battle works especially well with Aldo's first skill in generating devastating damage output, while Wings of the Apocalypse Queen helps ensure Aldo's survivability when ganking. As for emblem builds, we highly recommend everyone to use the physical emblem set and select Shield, Bravery, and Life Drain. Aldo is not strong during the early game, during which time he should be focused on laning to accumulate damage enhancements. The Emblem Talent Life Train should help Aldo survive the early game with greater ease. For battle spells, we recommend using Flicker to improve Aldo's ability to chase down enemies in the late game and to survive during the early game. Aldo activates his ultimate and sees the enemy Aurora on her own. Aldo activates a strike against Aurora, who can do nothing but hide underneath the tower. Aldo reaches Aurora. Wow, Aldo activates his first skill and knocks out Aurora. Now Aurora's allies are rushing to defend the area. Leslie is already under the tower, but Aldo chooses not to back down. He activates his second skill to absorb tower damage while he goes after Leslie. Leslie uses her second skill to knock Aldo back under the tower. Now, Aldo seems to be a goner, but no. He uses Flicker to teleport to Leslie and activates his first skill to finish her off. And that's Mobile Legends' latest hero, Aldo, coming soon for 599 diamonds or 32,000 battle points. Make sure to take advantage of the 30% launch week discount. Until next time, we'll be seeing you Download for free, Mobile Legends, bang bang!
like and share if you enjoy the video and think others might benefit from this. And of course, subscribe and hit the notification button if you are new to the channel and want to be notified every time I post a video.